Good evening, good afternoon, good morning from wherever and whenever you're tuning in. This is Mr. I am Mr. Matthew. Um, so we've got uh, an amazing journey for you guys. Um, so in this little tutorial, well, not little, it's but going to be my biggest tutorial so far. It's going to be we're gonna we're going to create a blog um, blog site, and it's going to be very simple. Uh, not so simple, because uh, it's going to it's going to be a Mern stack, Mern stack um, app. So thus far, all I've done is I created the the repo on GitHub, and I cloned it on my desktop, and um, I npm in it. That's it. That's all I've done. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, install a couple of dependencies. So uh, Let's get that out the way. Uh, we're going to need, uh, we're going to be using Express. Um, we're going to be using Mongoose. Um, we're going to be using Bcrypt, Colors, and Chasen Web Token. And uh, probably a, a couple more, I, I believe. All right, so uh, let's install a couple. Um, Dependencies. So let's do npm i bcrypt bcrypt js colors um, dot emv express. Um, let's see, JSON web token mongoose. Um, yeah. Um, so we're gonna hit. Enter, let it do its thing, and I'll get back to you in a few. Okay, um, so the first round of uh, installs are done. Um, we're going to install a couple of um, dev dependencies. Um, so we're going to uh, install um, Nodemon, and we're also going to install concurrently. Uh, the reason I'm, I'm installing these two is once I've gotten to, once we get to the front end, I'm going to be running one command and it's going to start both the front end and the back end of it. All right. So let's do that. Um, while, while it's doing that, uh, we're going to create a couple of directories here. Um, so let's do server. Uh, server dash js all right and in our server file our server is pretty much going to be our back end really um, I can actually just call it back end let's see eh, no nah, let's let's keep it let's keep uh, the folder uh, name as server. Okay. Um, well, let's uh, let's create our let's, um, modify our server file. So we're going to um, require Express. Cry Express. Um, we're also going to require colors, and I like this. Um, I like colors because it allows us to, um, when we have to console something in a terminal, console log something in a terminal, we can give it a, uh, we can color coordinate it. So, so that way, when a lot, when a bunch of crap pops up in our terminal, we're it it helps us quickly identify what we're looking for. So if it's an error, uh, I like to put it as red. If it's uh, if it's something that I'm expecting, I like to put it as blue. Um, so we'll, 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 you'll see how that goes. Um, let's see what else we need. Uh, we're going to need mongoose. Okay, gonna need mongoose. So um, let's. Uh, and then we're going to do, let's do app.use. And we're going to call express. And then we're going to uh, scroll down. 
I'm going to do app.use. These are our middlewares here. Uh, creating express.json. And we're going to say hmm, extended false. Extended false. Okay. Um, and then we're going to do app.listen. Okay. And we're going to set it on port. We're going to set an anonymous function here. Um, and then we're going to do console info. Then we're going to do backticks. And this is where you get to see the color, um, how color uh, is going to work here. Um, so we're going to do, I have a, uh, an extension that kind of completes, um, I forgot what it's called, but, but this extension completes the um, code for me based on what I've done so far. It's, it's very intuitive. I, I, I like it. Although I do have to admit it does make me a little bit lazy, but uh, <laughs> not complaining. Um, so the color, we're going to give it, let's give it a, actually, let's give it a background uh, scion. Okay, and then we're going to do underline, and we're going to give it a bold. All right. Um, <clears throat> we're going to give it a bold. There, uh, the port, we don't have that yet, so our port, let's do const port is equal to process. That would be env dot port or 5,000. Um, let's create that. Let's create our en, dot env file. All right. Um, so what do we need for our uh, dot env? Well, we need a we need an address. We need a URL for our, uh, for our database. So we're gonna do mongoose, uh, actually mongo, URI, and that's gonna be mongodb, mongodb, colon, forward slash, forward slash, uh, mongodb uh, is MongoDB, uh, I, I believe it uses port 12, it's 1270.0.1, uh, and it uses port 27017, all right? So we do that, and then of course we have to give our database a name. So let's do blog demo, all right? And for security purposes, we also have to give it give it a secret. So we're going to do JWT. Uh, so that JWT here would be JSON Web Token secret. Um, you guys can name it whatever you want. Uh, me, I'm calling it um, ba -ba -ba -ba, blog demo um, API secret. All right. And then port, of course, port 5,000. What? Not a colon, 5,000. All right. Let's make sure our slash env here is in our git ignore. Let's see. env. Uh, let's add that. I'm not sure, but let's add that. ENV. Oops. EN. Actually, it already is, because if it wasn't, uh, it would be highlighted like everybody else. Okay, like uh, all the others. Um, okay, something else that we need to do. Um, inside of our server. Actually, no. No, no, that's it. Um, I was going to say inside of our server directory, but I really mean inside of our, uh, let's go back to our server file, server.js, and we're going to create a connection to the, to the database, all right? So we're going to do const connect 
db. It's going to be an async function, asynchronous function. And we're going to do we're going to do a try catch and do const con. Let's see if our app will do it. Uh, await mongoose. Here we go. Await mongoose connect process. Uh, now, if there, um, let's do console log where it's connected. If that fails, we're going to throw a catch. We're going to throw an error in the catch. Like this, however, we're going to customize our error a little bit. Um, we're going to do error. And it's going to be error message. And we're going to do, uh, we're going to give it a red background actually. Um, so it's BG, BG for background red. Um, we're going to underline it and make it bold as well. All right. And I believe this is it so far. Um, oh, yeah. Um, this was a function, so now we got to call it. Otherwise, it would not work. So connect DB. We save. So now um, we have to go back to our package.json file and update the script, uh, the scripts, so that way we can run um, the server. So <clears throat> we're going to do start. Whoops. We're going to do start, and we're going to do node server that forward slash server dot js all right um why is this red i'm confused okay all right that was confusing me as, as to why it was red um we're going to do server now. And again, it doesn't matter what, um, it doesn't matter uh, if we have the start or the server script. It doesn't matter the, what I'm trying to say, it doesn't matter if you have the server or the, it doesn't matter what order yeah, it is, is what I'm trying to say. So we're going to do nodemon. We're going to do server.js like this. And I believe now we can run it. So let's say npm run start. Let's pause. Um, actually, we're not going to pause. Um, let's see what it does. So I have, I have an error is saying app is not defined. So we got to go to server. Oh yeah. Um, it's app, it's const app is equal to this. This is what I should have done. Um, some of you probably already caught that. Right? I'm sure some of you have. So let's clear and do npm run start and see how that works. So I had an error. Um, all right, so I, uh, I paused it because um, 
I had an error, and there, there were two things. Um, I did not include this, and also uh, another error that I had, um, it's good, we're debugging this uh, as well, is you, maybe you've noticed, but uh, earlier in the .env file, I had mono, unders mono underscore URI, where it should be Mongo. Okay. So now that I've solved that, uh, go back to server and run npm start a terminal. We should have, we should see a notification that says server is running on port 5000. And it should also say MongoDB connected to here we are. All right. Um, she, I don't like this color. Let's call it BG green all right um, so this is it for for this first video uh, I'll see you in the next one uh, where we get to we're going to focus on creating the routes the models and the controllers so I'll see you in the next video